Welcome back to Create, Share, and Give. And today I would like to share with you guys a little mini haul that I have with some new journaling books and some office supplies and a few oils that I'm working with. I hope you guys are doing well. I have been doing well, just staying focused and just trying to do what I have to do and elevate. So the first oil that I want to share with you guys is the Bayberry oil. Now Bayberry is normally used uh, around the holiday season and I found something very interesting about the Bayberry is that some of the first candles that were ever made were made using bayberry. You can boil the bark down and then they took some of the film and then that formed a wax and those became bayberry candles. So I had even much more respect for the bayberry. Um, it has a cherry kind of a fruity smell to it. It's not too overwhelming, but actually I like the uh, aroma of it. Now, Bayberry, this is a fragrance oil. Now, I usually work with essential oils, but I'm starting to incorporate more of the fragrance oils. You can mix fragrance oils with the essential oils together. You can mix those together and then that'll give you uh, a little more, po more potency in the energy if you would like, but it's all about your intentions. So this is the Bayberry and I bought this as one of the key ingredients on an oil a project that I'm working on. So that's the Bayberry. The second oil is patchouli. Now patchouli, it has a very distinct smell it's very woodsy, very earthy. I'm not sure that I'm a direct fan of patchouli, but I know that it's a very powerful oil. Now, you can use patchouli for any kind of skin uh, inflammation, such as dandruff. Um, it also helps with nervous disorders. You can make bombs out of it. So I bought the patchouli, and I didn't have patchouli in my stash. And it's one of those oils that always come up. So I thought in conjunction with the recipe that I'm making, that it will be good just to have a patchouli oil in my stash because it's definitely a powerful oil. So that's patchouli. I think that's probably the first patchouli that I've ever purchased also. Okay, now this is lemon verbena. Lemon verbena is one of my favorites. It's so sweet but citrusy and I love anything lemon. I mean, I like the motifs of lemon. <laughs> I just love lemons. They just represent freshness, uh, the bright, pretty yellow color of lemons. It's just so intoxicating. So anything lemon, I'm here for it. So this is lemon verbena. I bought this one also. This one is an invigorating, uplifting um, kind of oil that you can incorporate a fresh scent um, if you like the citrus family, you would definitely love the lemon verbena. Okay, let's get the, another oil. This is white musk. Now, white musk, the white musk, this is an oil here, and it is, uh, like it sounds, a white musk. I like some musk, musk scents. But uh, I like the lighter type of musk scents. And this is a clean musk. And I bought this in conjunction to mix with other oils that I'm using. So it'll lighten up. Like I said, I mix this with the patchouli. It will lighten up that woodsy uh, scent to that. So I've just been playing around with that. And this is the white musk. Now I thought I had one. Oh, here it goes. It slid over here. Now this is the Egyptian sandalwood. Now sandalwood is another oil that I don't have in my collection. But it smells a lot smoother than I thought it would. Sandalwood is one of the most herbs and resins that's been around since the beginning of time. So I knew that I wanted a sandalwood in my collection. And the recipe that I'm working with called for sandalwood, so I had a reason to go and buy some. Now, sandalwood can use for be used for inflammation. Let me see, I have a few notes taken. It also um, can be used for any type of skin uh, 
inflammations like scaly skin, eczema, dandruff, things of that nature. And I'm sure there's 121 more uses topically for patchouli. Now you can use any incense formulations, anything of that nature. It's very cleansing. Um, I've had it like in a resin powder before and I burned in the incense. So I'm happy to have the sandalwood oil in my collection. So that's it for the oils that I have that I'm working with. I'm happy to have those in my new apothecary family. So I also picked up some notebooks. I am just a sucker for notebooks. Like I love notebooks. I love to write and so I always love when I have a reason to go out and buy more notebooks. So this is one I found and this one is so nice. And I purchased these, um, this particular one and a few more I'm going to show you from Ross. Don't sleep on Ross. They have some nice stationery for really great prices. Like this particular notebook right here, it has a hard cover. It has my bumblebees, which I love bees on it. I love the black and gold. It has the gold uh, elastic fold over. And the paper is really nice. And it also, one thing I love about this particular notebook is that it has dividers in there. And I haven't um, placed my tags on here yet, but I have a uh, label maker. I'm going to label them. But that's just an awesome way. So this is one of my business notebooks. I'm using it for that purpose. So I can go in and section different things that I need to section on um, in the whole process of the business making uh, agenda. So I really like this one. This reminds me of something I would see like in a Kate Spade collection. And I do have a couple of her notebooks as well, but just the overall aesthetic of the notebook, it's definitely high end. The quality is amazing. And look at even the dividers have different uh, designs in them geometric designs and look at the stripe. I love this. As you see here, I love, love stripes. I have to like stop myself from buying striped clothing because I have so many stripes. I love black and white stripes. So it just makes it fun. And I love to write on things that are pretty and it motivates me to go and write or want to journal and get my ideas out of my mind and on pen and paper so that I can bring them into the third dimension. So this is my journal and this one I paid five dollars for and this to me screams way more than five dollars. Another one that I picked up, this is another journal that I have for a specific reason and this is again back to the B motif and it is, says on the front let it be. And I really thought that resonated because as it is more of a manifesting, writing goals down, um, let it be, just seemed so befitting. So when I saw this one, I knew that I had to pick it up. But not only that, I knew that it matched my other notebook that I had previously bought from a separate store. This one came from Ross also, but I bought them at two different uh, locations. And so now I have a set and I love this set. This one I think was like $3.99, but I love tablets also that open up um, in the form from the top versus the side of it. And look at it, more stripes on the inside. So you know I was happy about that. I'm here for anything stripes. And it also has a folder on the inside see a little folder on both sides I can stick receipts or any other kind of papers or stickers or anything of that nature in my notebook so I like when notebooks have that incorporated with them because you never know what you may want to save I may have some sticky notes or something in here that I can just pull out and have them specifically for this journal and again it has the gold uh, hardware to it so I have my matching set and bees resonate with me, not only because it is the queen bee, but also um, scientifically, bees are not supposed to be able to fly. So there's an ongoing joke that I love to tell. It's like, why does a bee fly? 
And the answer is da -da 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 -da, because no one ever told it it couldn't. And that is like amazing. I always keep that in mind of programming and being self-programmed on limitations, you know. And I'm still trying to break through a lot of those limitations, as I'm sure a lot of people are, through colonization, um, just brainwashing in so many different ways. But I just think that is amazing. And our Mary Kay, um, she had a, I guess everyone knows what Mary Kay is, is a cosmetics line. And the B was her motif. And that was the reason she used the B to build her multi-million dollar company. Because no one ever told it that it couldn't. So I have an affinity for bees for that a reason also. So there's my collection. Now I have another notebook. And this one, this one is fun. It's a cacti notebook. I love plants and cacti. Um, the cactus are so nice. They have the blooming cactus. And it's like the pink and green, which is a great uh, combination. I wear pink and green and people always say, are you AKA? No, I'm not, but I still love the pink and green. And it's just nice. Again, it has the elastic uh, connected to it. And it has the fun just print on the inside. See, I started with my green pen. That wasn't intentional, but the paper is very nice and very clean to write on. So this is another journal that I have for a separate project. I picked this one up at Ross also and then this one was $3.99 so again for a hardcover gold hardware nice quality paper for $3.99 and it is by the brand James Burke the James Burke collection B-U-R-K-E now James Burke I have to look into him because all of these actually are by the same uh, manufacturer and I love all of them I mean really great work so this is another uh, journal that I picked up and I generally like to keep my journals separately. I don't like to mix them up. So if I start them for one cause or just for one goal, I like to keep that notebook just for that. Sometimes I'll start out that way and then I'll get lazy because maybe that's the only book by my nightstand. So I'll go ahead and pick that up and put something else that I know shouldn't be in there. And then I feel like I've ruined the whole vibe. So I really like to keep everything separate. That way if I know, hey, I'm going to look up some herbs. Okay, I need to go to this book. Okay, I need to go to some journaling. I know this is my book to go to. I have some business ideas. Okay, I pick up this. And that way I can kind of keep my thoughts separate and more organized. So I feel that works for me. And it gives me a reason to buy new notebooks. <laughs> so that's a win-win. Another thing I bought uh, for the office are these wonderful files. Files, aren't they so cute? And this is again, back to the stripe, white, gold, and this beautiful color sea foam. And these are actually the color of my business. I love these color uh, combinations together. And this is a stripe. And then this is a different design that comes with the same uh, filing system, but a different chevron um, pattern with the aquamarine um, cover for the tabs. And they also come with the gold tabs that you can write on to stick them there. Now I have one here, let me see if I have it. Oh, here it goes. Now this one, I already made a sticker for that, so I made a uh, tag for this one. My penmanship is not the greatest, so I like to use my label maker for everything. So I put that on there, and I just think again, when I have things that are beauty, and I'm a Taurus, ruled by Venus, um, is my sun sign, so anything that's aesthetically beautiful, I just love. You know, that's why I love creating things, um, just for the love of beauty. So if I have to file things, if I look at something that's nice and pretty, it just makes me want to do it more. And it helps me stay a little bit more organized. Um, last but not least, I have these, and I think they're so adorable. Now these are, I use them for bookmarks or to mark my sections in my notebook. And I purchased these from Ross also. They're by James Burke. And they're just fun and they look happy. Like they're just happy. 
the colors they're just so cute so I picked up two of these and what I like to do is when I'm reading a notebook sometimes the sticky notes I like to use those but sometimes they don't stick as good and I lose my page I'm not that good with bookmarks so this is perfect like this is a book that I'm reading here the uh, on Kabbalah and then I have one here and it's just fun like it wants to make you read or you know I pick it up I can open the book and then I know exactly where I'm at and it just makes it fun and makes the book just pop again I like aesthetically fun and just happy things I do have some of my sticky notes here but you can see when they start to get trashed and then they get a little wiry that's fine too. I usually like the kind that are made out of plastic. I think they're from like Paper Mate. But I have a ton of these uh, paper ones so I try to use those up. But these are just so fun for bookmarks or if I'm writing something in my notebook I want to just mark the page. I can just take it out and then um, put it on the page and match the pages to the colors. Oh I can't remove it. But how fun are these? So it's like anything just to make your environment fun, to have pretty things to look at, or just things that are going to spark your motivation and your innovation. So that's it for today, and thank you guys so much for coming by again. Thank you for all the new subscribers. If you like the content, support this channel and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and watch me grow. Until we meet again, peace.